Hey guys, Chris and Alan Tech here. Today we're gonna to go over one of the tools that I use to make sure that we get proper exposure. So I'm, I'm filming this indoors, mainly because uh, I want a control setting. Uh, we covered white balance and also shutter speed and ISO, you know, controlling those manually. Let's implement those into this, this process here. Now today we're gonna to be going over the metering tool. It's just essentially a tool then that your camera uses to, it'll gauge on how dark or light you are. So again, I'm filming on the DJI Spark and go to the practice of setting everything up correctly. Let's get everything correct. So I'm filming indoors. That can be either considered cloudy. Uh, that looks about right. One of the things you wanna make sure you have on is right here is called the, oops, it's called the on-screen display. This will help you out um, as if you don't have this on, this is what it looks like. Let me just close this right here is the on-screen display and what you the metering tool that you have to know is right here m.m or exposure level again i'll be using those interchangeably with each other so let's open up the menu uh, and let's go to camera setting this is your metering tool right here uh, the minus three right now it's exposing for me and that's based uh what i mentioned that's what the camera is using to gauge how much light or how it should adjust the shutter speed or ISO the camera will change or it'll change those settings to make sure that you are exposed correctly. Okay, so how does the metering tool actually work? So uh, for the spark, it's simple. It's right here. It's the center focus. So wherever you put in the center focus, it'll adjust this metering tool. If I put my cover here, in front, you'll notice the number changes from minus 2.0. And then if I put something bright on there, let's say maybe this might be good enough. It's zero all of a sudden or minus three. Maybe this might be wider. Okay. And then similarly, if it's really white like it is now, then it's plus seven. You can see it's, it's fluctuating and that's how it essentially works. So how does this actually uh, work? We're, I'm just going to do some examples for you. So we're looking at me, it says minus 1.7. I, I just want to let you know, use this number as a guideline. And what we generally want to do is put whatever subject that you want to shoot. If it's the background or the foreground, the closer you are to zero, in my opinion, the better. That gives you a good balance of lights and darks. Okay, so uh, let's say I want to expose for me. So I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera on me specifically. The metering tool is showing me a negative 1.3 value. What I'm gonna do is adjust the shutter speed, as as mentioned. It's down here as well. So what we're we gonna do is adjust. Let's put ISO down to zero. I'm actually pretty dark, and I'm also at my limit of 60 here. So that means, I remember from the last video, we don't want to be the shutter to be one one sixtieth less than this number. So we're just gonna increase the ISO up and 800, and you can see the number raising, minus 1.3, if I can go up, that's a bit too high. But 1600 is good, as it's as close to zero as you can get. Uh, there's some exposure, overexposure on my fingers or anything that's bright, but again, I'm exposing, um, I'm exposing for myself. All right, guys, as you can see, we're outside, it's super bright. I'm gonna stand in front of it. Um, as you can see, it's super bright. The number here is plus 1.7. Let's lower that down. ISO, let's, since we're outside, go down to 100. It's still 0.17. There's lots of exposure here, and I seem really bright. My my shirt is actually gray, but I'm sure through the filming it'll look um, it'll look white just because it's overexposed. And this is what I meant by overexposure. Let's lower the ISO down, keep going down until the number is between zero and, yeah, this is zero right now. So as you can see, the color came back. I'm still overexposed at the shoulders. So you can, again, it's a guideline. So if you want to keep going down and capture me, then that, that looks about, that looks good enough, but my face is dark just because the shadows are really harsh right now. 
And that's how you'd use it. Let's use another example. You want to make this part brighter. You can see right now it's minus 0.3. And if you want to make it a little bit brighter, let's just raise that a little bit. And you can see you can see more detail in here. And that's how essentially it works. And then that is the metering tool. Again, the metering tool is used uh, for the camera sensor. It'll, it will give you a numerical value based on the center point right here, or in fact, the center point right here. So whatever you put it on, then it'll kind of give a rough estimate as far as how it's going to move forward, how it's going to film. So right now we're showing zero. And if we move forward and we go into the bushes here, you can see the number go from minus 1.3, but the background is exposed. And then once we end up on the outside, it's going to be right again, plus 0.1. Turn around, zero, minus 1.3. It's dark in here Ooh. and gonna go back up so that's where we're at guys um, hopefully you guys learned something here again metering tool you want to turn on the on-screen display here to enable the function and then also um, when you open it up and you go to the camera setting this page here your metering tool is located down here you want to be as close to zero as possible Similarly, let's close that. Uh, once you have the on-screen display, this number is what you can use as a guideline right here. Yep. So you, and then in this case, you mess around with your ISO and your shutter speed. So um, all this just takes practice. You just got to glance at it, use it as a guideline. But most importantly, you just look at your overall screen here. Again, it's a guideline, whatever you want it to look like. You be creative with it. Sometimes you want to shoot darker. Sometimes you want to shoot lighter. Again, hopefully you guys learned something here. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below on how to use this metering tool. The next one, I'll be talking about histogram. I, I do thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click on the button below. Subscribe to my channel. Moving forward, I want to produce more. I do thank you for you guys continuing to, to continue to watch my channel. And as always, fly safe, guys, and mahalo plenty.